today I have a little bit of a different video than what I usually film, but I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I have tried little pieces of mukbangs before, but I decided to try it again and kind of catch up with you, just to chat about random stuff. I'm just gonna move it back a little. There you go. So, my mukbang for today is a homemade pizza that I just made, so it's fresh out of the oven. It has, whoa, it has ham the dough is fresh made too. So it has pizza sauce, cheese, mushrooms, chicken, peppers, feta cheese, pineapple, I think that's it, because pineapple belongs on pizza. Fight me. Um, and then usually I love a good garlic dipping sauce, but I only have some barbecue sauce. So I'm going to have a couple pieces with some barbecue sauce. And then for my drink, I wanted to have this San Pellegrino in my beautiful glass cup, but um, turns out this thing expired like two years ago. It's just been sitting in the back of my mom's fridge. But I decided to just open it anyway so you can hear the beautiful sounds. And then for my actual drink, unfortunately today all I have is some boring water. Cheers, you should have it. Okay. So, okay. so I'm very excited to eat. I had a very light lunch today, so I'm really excited. If you don't like eating sounds, click off <laughs> and go watch some of my other videos. But cheers, you should really let's have the little tiny piece first. I'm gonna eat this one with the barbecue sauce, so. First impressions, the dough is not as soft. I don't know, usually my pizza dough turns out really great this time it was a bit too light dry I think it's very thick so I think I should have rolled it out more but I was, I was really lazy whenever I make a pizza I never roll it out that's my partner's job so <laughs> overall 10 out of 10 the toppings work well the pizza sauce I got is a little spicy so it's really good I think I should have kept it in a little bit more for the crust to get crispy. But I'm currently with my mom. Mm. I'm getting a halter just done as we speak. 
it's just for precautionary measures i'm okay thank you don't have to worry <laughs> um but just to make sure everything is okay I love the crust, it's my favorite part. Mm. I'm such a sucker for crunchy crusts. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this whole slice. It's a big one, <laughs> but <clears throat> slowly start. Cheers. I hope you guys have been okay. I have been a little slacking with my videos. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the sauce on the plate for this one. Um, just because. I've been working, so I don't have the time to be filming that much. So if my videos ever seem lackluster and not as high quality because I'm very busy and I don't have time to film. I hope you don't hold it against me. But I have missed producing content for you guys. I miss going on live. I really want to go on a live again with you guys soon. And just like catch up. I feel like there's a lot of people that don't know me really. Because like I think the last live I did was when I was at, like, I hit 10k or something, I think. So it's been a while. Can you tell me in the comments, do you like pineapple on your pizza? If you don't, don't worry, I won't hate you. <laughs> it's just for me, it's just so superior, because, like, the sweet and the salty... said i've just been enjoying life working just i've kind of come to the realization <clears throat> that like because i'm technically not really where i want to be in life in terms of my career like i want a full-time job in the pr marketing social media world and i graduated and i have like experience for that but I just haven't found like the opportunity for it or no one's been giving me a chance so I'm not gonna lie it's been a little discouraging um I've been kind of losing hope a little bit but I'm trying to remain just positive and I'm really trying to just enjoy every little moment of life like I like my job I like doing it um so I like self-care I like doing bubble baths now and just reading a book taking time for myself Doing some yoga in the morning, Pilates, like, really being in tune with myself and my body. Ooh, excuse me. And my body. And, yeah. Like, I've just been trying to just take it slow. Not burn myself out. And just generally enjoy every moment. Like, journaling. I've been journaling, too. 
it's just a lot of like self-improvement self-journey type of stuff And I've also been trying to get into like little like hobbies that I used to like as a kid. Like um, maybe not drawing, but like painting, um, puzzles. Um, I wasn't a big puzzle person when I was a kid, but I'm really liking them. They're really relaxing. Honestly, reading is the biggest one that I've noticed. I've kind of went back into my grade 9 phase where all I did was just read and I'm not hating on it. I'm not as intense <laughs> as I was because like I said, I have a job. Um, when I was in grade 9, I think I read like two books a week maybe. Now it's like one book every month or so. Which honestly, I'm like very much okay with because I used, I had like a really dry spell period of read, no reading at all. I think I didn't pick up a book in like maybe, oh god, probably like the whole time I was in university I didn't pick one up because like I was already reading enough for school and learning so for me I didn't want to like read on top of that. So I didn't even pick one up during university, the whole four years, well, six years maybe. Excuse me. But it took me. I mean, that's my body signal that I'm full. Or getting there. So I'm going to stop. This is how much I have left. I'm just going to eat away at the crust. <laughs> Having that roster of doing it once reading one book a month is more than perfect for me. I would love to do more, but you know what? For now, it's a great start. And yeah. little crust piece that I'm also going to finish off quickly. I don't know where I heard I actually heard that from my dad. That if you burp while you're eating, that means like your stomach's actually full. So it's letting you know like, to stop. And I burped like maybe five minutes ago. So... <laughs> Of trigger warning, but this can like upset anyone. But I used to have a huge problem with binging, binging, and And to be fully transparent with you, um, sometimes it still happens, like it, it doesn't happen as often. I usually have maybe a day or two throughout the month that I have a binge day, 
Um, but it used to be really, really bad, especially during the pandemic and lockdowns. Like, all I did, <clears throat> like, for example, I went out today and I bought this cookie box, which I'm going to have a couple right now before I leave you, but I'm going to have, like, one or two because I'm pretty full. But I would actually finish this whole box. And after dinner, too, like, I would have, like, a decent big meal or even, like, I wouldn't even feel that satisfied with the food I was eating, so I wouldn't, excuse me, I wouldn't eat it all. But then I would just binge eat this whole bag, box of cookies. And like, no, I know how hard it is um, if you're going through that. I understand. It's literally an addiction. It's so hard. Sugar is a big addiction, and it is very, very hard to curb it. Um, the only way and kind of advice I would give is just to honestly put your mind to it and just find either healthier options or just have a lot of protein for dinner so you feel so full that you can't even have like this whole box and pretty much for I'm pretty good for the whole day usually and my day to day now is like I'll have a big meal like I just did and then I always need something sweet to finish it off so I'll always have like one or two of these and then if I am feeling like I want more later in the evening after I've digested this food I go and have like a couple more. I won't finish the whole box but I might finish a whole row and like for me like a whole row is like six and that might seem like very like a lot to some people um but for me it's just way better than eating like so many more of these like there's six over here like a whole box which is like insane and so that's how i actually ended up gaining like a lot of weight during the pandemic i gained like 20 pounds and now like i pretty much lost it and pretty much i think i've officially lost like 15 it jumps between like like 17 to 15 to 17 that i lose um right now i believe i'm at 61 kilos and that should be almost 20 pounds so i'm very very proud of myself for that <clears throat> it took a lot it's a lot it's a lot to lose weight um and it's very hard to and it's very easy um to just get back into the cycle but a little raw moment there i have struggled with binge eating so i do understand the um you know side effects of it and not only did i feel like crap and not feel confident when i was at a higher weight i also had more health problems and like my health palpitations were like 10 times worse than they are ever now so if you are struggling out there i understand but it's all in moderation and as long as you're trying your best that's the most you can do right and every day is a new day so if you fuck up one day try again the next so that's all i can really give on my advice for that never thought i'd actually share that on the internet but yeah anyway transparency <laughs> but let's have a cookie or two or maybe none because i can't open this These are actually my favorite. They're so good. Mm. Not as good as the celebration ones, but still pretty good. So like a whole pack of Oreos I finish pretty much the whole pack or at least a sleeve and a half of like the thin ones so like it's so hard to not finish like it's so it's, it's so good
so if I was smart <laughs> I'd listen to my body I'm not fully full but I'm getting there but you know what I'm gonna listen to my heart and have one more <clears throat> because that's what I'm feeling and I'm not gonna deny myself one more because I'm a big believer in intuitive eating to a limit <laughs> conversation wasn't a lot for some people if it was i will leave a timestamp and like a little mini trigger warning before the video for that section but i hope you enjoy my vulnerability anyway talk about food somehow i got on that topic but i hope you all are doing really well and i miss you guys I'm doing well, so thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for always being so supportive and so kind. And your comments make my absolute day. So, thank you. So, I'm going to finish this up and then we'll clean up the kitchen and let's go. for joining me on this little mukbang if you liked it if you want another one let me know i love you all see you in my next one